Green Gales get to an early Ryan McCrory to Mitch Escula one minute and four seconds into this game and they have themselves the lead. Escula again just past the midway point of the period picks up his second of the night. 3-1 to one for the Green Gales. Here is the reply from Halton Hills. Tyler Onan would put this one in before being taken to the ground. Dylan Goddard finds Jordan Saunderson with this pass. He knows what to do from close range. 4-3 after one for the Green Gales. Early second period now. Couldn't ask for much more out of a young player in his first year. Brandon Stahl keeps just getting the job done. Eight seconds after Connor Brown got them with one. Bennett Drake off the faceoff. Nice reply from the Clarington Greengales. Nick Loyce has a breakaway of his own here, but Gavin Lecky with the great arm save for the Bulldogs. Here, Brown fights off Alex Brennan, scores. That's going to cut the lead to 7-6. to six. Then, Theo Dahl puts this ball right into the mesh of Drake, but Lecky is going to bail him out with a big save. At the other end, Neil Roberts, he's got his game going, stopping Jamie and Batten. Jordan Saunderson then clears out Tyler LeBlanc here in front of the net. Garrett Eddy had two goals on the night, but this one would have been the prettiest of all of them. A couple of spin moves before he is stopped. Power play now, Luke Laskowitz off the glass to Brandon Stahl, just like they drew it up, right? Exactly. Ten seconds later... Still on a power play, Zach Bryant scores after the Bulldogs slapped with a pair of unsportsmanlike penalties, 10-7. Into the third period now, McCrory finds Dylan Goddard cutting in, and number 9 has 99 points on the season. And then Luke Leskowitz, he scores to make it a five-goal game, but the Green Gales know that Halton Hills are capable of coming back from that sort of a deficit just as they did in Halton Hills a couple of weeks ago. Connor Brown scores his fourth of the game. They're not going to give up. But Garrett Eddy gets a pair of back-to-back -back goals. And then Brandon Hessen, fresh out of the penalty box, he has the open net to shoot for, and he gets the job done. 17-8 to is your final in this one. The Green Gales, now if they win out through the rest of the season, three games to go, they would hold home floor advantage should these two teams meet again in the playoffs as they have the past five seasons. It was the most complete game, I think, of the year from start to finish. Always going to be little mistakes here and there, but um, all in all, like uh, the defense, the transition game, the offense, everything kind of come together tonight to um, play a very good Halton Hills team. And, you know, uh, it's not the last we're going to see those guys, I can guarantee you that. But uh, I think we proved tonight that... Um, you know, when our game is, is at the level that it should be in all facets of the game, I think uh, we're a very hard team to beat. Oh, it's, it's huge because uh, our fans, they're really supportive, against, especially against big teams like Halton. And uh, if you go to Halton, their fans are pretty good too. So you'd rather have, be, have your fans here cheering for you as opposed to being in Halton. With their um, the fans helped out a great amount. They gave us support and they helped us when we had the lead and we just used that energy and used it on the floor.